Hi guys, here's a question for you. Does hot glue float or sink in water? Here's one of my hot glue sticks and I've just been and tested it and it floats just and it's important because I've been out to my bargain store and bought these two nasal inhalers. Not that I've got any problems with my breathing, but I was looking at them and I thought they might be the right shape to make one of those baking powder submarines. And I need them to sink, but only just. So I'm going to take it apart, throw away the innards, because I just want the plastic tube. And that's why it's important to know whether the hot glue sinks or swims. Because if I fill it with hot glue, it's going to float. And I don't want it to float, I want it to just sink. So I'm going to empty that out, see whether the plastic tube floats or sinks. And then I'll be able to work out whether I need to add weight or add buoyancy. Right. I've just tested that and that also floats. So to make my baking powder submarine I'm going to have to add some weight to make it sink. There's our jug of water and our plastic tube and our hot glue. Fill it with water and as you can see it floats. I've just filled that with hot glue so that's going to take quite a while to cool down I think and I've stuck a little bit of polystyrene on the front for the conning tower. So I'll let that cool down, check that it still floats and then see what I need to do to make it sink. I'm thinking that I might be able to just screw some tiny screws in the bottom straight through and that should make it sink and that should be reasonably easy to adjust with probably one or two maybe three of these screws to make it sink. Well we're just about there What I think I'll do next is drill the hole underneath for the powder to go in and then we'll have some idea of whether we need more weight or less weight because that's obviously right on the point. Right, I've drilled a hole in the bottom there. So I should be able to poke some powder in there and then um, pack it tight using the drill. But it still just floats, so I think I'll add another screw. You need to pack it in so that when you turn it over it doesn't just fall straight out again. So let's see what happens. Need to, oh, there we go, we've sunk.
was supposed to shake it about a bit to make sure there was no air bubble underneath. the bubble. There we go. Success. You ought to be timing this actually to see how long it takes between bubbles. Ten seconds, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. Oop. I stopped counting so I thought it was moving. Twenty seconds. Thirty seconds. Yeah, thirty. Yeah, that was about thirty seconds that time. Obviously the time will change, I well, I suppose the time will change depending on how much powder is left dry inside. But I'm pretty pleased with that. i better sneak my wife's baking powder back to the kitchen before she finds out I've pinched it. I'll just leave the camera running now to see how long it goes on for. I guess I could change the camera angle, see if we can get closer. <laughs> 